Hello friends, today I will solve a lead code medium problem that was asked in by contest 133. So the problem is minimum operation to make binary array elements equal to 1. So we are given a binary array nums and we can do the following operation on the array any number of times. So we need to choose any three consecutive elements of the array and flip all of them. So flipping an element means changing its value from 0 to 1 and from 1 to 0. So we need to return the minimum number of operations required to make all elements in nums equal to 1 and if it is impossible return minus 1. So at any instance we can choose any three consecutive elements and we need to flip them. So our goal is to make all array elements equal to 1 and we need to return the minimum number of operations required to make all elements equal to 1 and if it is impossible then we need to return minus 1. So in the first example, we are given a nums array of size 6. So first we choose first three element. Then after flipping, the nums array becomes 100, 0, 0, then 100. 0, 0. Then again, we choose the next three elements. That is from index 1 to index 3. After flipping, the array becomes 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. Now, after selecting the last three elements, that is from index 3 to index 5, so after flipping the array contains all ones. Now I will stop. So we need three flips to make all the elements in the array equal to one. In the second example, we are given a nums array of size four. And here we can see we cannot flip the elements in such a way that all the elements becomes one. So it is impossible to make all elements in nums equal to one. So we will return minus one. So now I will discuss the idea how to approach this problem. I'll traverse from index 0 to n minus 1 and if at index i nums of i is 0 then I will flip nums of i nums of i plus 1 and nums of i plus 2 because at any instance we need to flip three consecutive elements so i will loop from 0 to n minus 3 that is till index 3 so at i equal to 0 the nums of 0 is 0 initially the result will be 0 so i need to flip this index so i will consider this window and I'll flip all the elements in this window that is I'll flip the element 0 to 1 then 1 to 0 then 1 to 0 now I'll go to next index that is i equal to 1 here the value is 0 so I'll flip all the values in this window that is from index 1 to 3 so in this window after flipping the values the values becomes 1 1 then zeros so after flipping i will increment the result each time so after first flip the result will be 1 then after second flip the result will be 2 so now i will go to next index that is i equal to 2 here the value is 1 so i will not do anything Next, I will go to index 3. Here, the value is 0. So, I will flip this window that is from index 3 to 5. Now, I will increment the result to 3. Now, I am at index n minus 3. So, here I will stop. Now, after flipping, the values will be. Now, I need to check if. If nums of n minus 1, that is nums of 5 is equal to 1 and nums of n minus 2, that is nums of 4 is equal to 1. So, if both the values are 1, then we can say 
all the elements of nums are equal to 1 and I'll return the result else it means it is impossible to make all the elements equal to 1 so I'll return minus 1 in this case I can see the values at index 4 and 5 are equal to 1 so I'll return the result equal to 3 I am stopping at n minus 3 because if I start a window from this index that is from index 4 the window will have only two values which is not permissible we need to have three elements in a window so I am looping till n minus 3 so for this example the result will be 3 now I will consider the next example that is So here I loop from index 0 to 1. So result is initially 0. For i equal to 0, I can see the value is 0. So I need to flip it. So I will consider the window from index 0 to 2. I will flip all the elements. And I will increment the result by 1. Then I will consider the next index that is i equal to 1. So here the value is 0. So, I will consider this window that is from 1 to 3 and I will flip all the elements 0 becomes 1 and 1 becomes 0. So, here at i equal to 0 there is a flip. Similarly, at i equal to 1 there is a flip. So, now I will stop because i is greater than n minus 3. So, here I can see the value at index n minus 1 is not equal to 1. So, it is impossible to make all the elements equal to 1. So, the result will be minus 1. So, now I will code the solution. So, I have declared a variable n that stores the length of nums array. Then, I will declare a variable called flips that is initialized to 0. So, it stores the flip count. So, I will run a for loop from int i equal to 0, i less than n minus 2, i plus plus. So, if current element that is sums of i equal to 0, then I need to flip this element along with I need to flip the element at index i plus 1 and at index i plus 2. So, I will increment the flips then I then will set sums of i to 1. Now I need to flip the value at nums of i plus 1 and nums of i plus 2. So nums of i plus 1 will be 1 minus nums of i plus 1. That is if current value of nums of i plus 1 is 1, then 1 minus 1 will be 0. And if current value of nums of i plus 1 is 0, then 1 minus 0 it will be 1. So the value will be flipped. Similarly, for index i plus 2 at the end I will check if nums of n minus 1 equal to 1 and nums of n minus 2 equal to 1 so it means all elements in nums is equal to 1 so I will return the flips count else I will return minus 1 so let's run it for the sample test cases. Sample test cases are running fine. Now I will submit it. So you can see it's working as expected. So now let's discuss the time and space complexity. So here I am running a for loop from index i equal to 0 till n minus 3. And within the for loop, 
I am doing some constant number of operations. So the time complexity is we go of n and as I am declaring just two variables, so the space complexity is we go of one that is constant. I have attached the GitHub link for this solution in the description. Please do check it out. If you like this video, please subscribe. And if you have any doubts or suggestions, please post in the comments. Thank you.